the Not Forgotten Association was founded to bring activity, comradeship and challenge back into the lives of men and women who have been injured in the Great War. And that's exactly what we're still doing. Today is the sort of icing on the cake to, to come to Buckingham Palace. It's a grand day and that's exciting and memorable. But actually, it's a day when there were two and a half thousand veterans there with their carers and partners just having a fantastic day with like-minded people. Went on a routine foot patrol. I stepped on a pressure plate IED, uh, resulting in me losing my right leg below the knee, my left leg above the knee and my right arm above the elbow. Whether you served in Northern Ireland back in the day in the Falklands or any other conflicts, you know, the amazing charities like the Not Forgotten Association, um, you take us on the garden party and things like that, you know, gives you that little bit of, of morale. It makes you feel really special and really proud to still, still be appreciated for what you've done, I think. <laughs> I have mishaps. I was known as the Private Benjamin of the team. <laughs> so, there were lots of mishaps, but I was actually medically discharged with uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, so sadly it was my dream career turned into my nightmare. With PTSD, you get social anxiety and been encouraged to join because there's going to be people, old and new veterans, uh, varying age ranges, but we've all got one thing in common and that's we've all served. I'm a wife of a veteran for the last almost 24 years, so in a way I have served my time too. <laughs> my husband has been injured for like four years now. The NFA helped him greatly with his recovery because of having lost that confidence. I've suffered myself, I've been a civilian now for about 18 months and I miss the Royal Marines, you know, terribly, absolutely, really badly to be honest. Society, you know, it's so busy, it's survival out there and nobody's got time for anybody else. I've been in charge of a lot of fantastic Marines and I've seen them suffer and struggle and I, it's a real comforting sort of sense to know that the, the Not Forgotten is out there. It's really important that we can laugh again. You know, I've got a smile on my face for, again now for the first time since I was diagnosed in 2012. When you're just back with the crew, which is what it is, then that's, that's it, you know. It gives me goose pimples just thinking about it because it, it matters so much. The charity targets individuals. I just wish and I hope it never ever changes to what it's doing because it is perfect. It's not just, yes, we've got 5,000 people on the box, they know each person. I think it just makes you feel special and proud to still be, still be, still be remembered and you know, not, not forgotten about. To see the effect it has on people being with like-minded service next service people. Um, and often some of these guys are, are living on their own and some of them are, are struggling a bit with their injuries. It means an enormous amount to them. To see the change we can make is, is worth every bit of it.